Over time, we're, we're getting more and more detailed into some of the um, physiological changes that are occurring in people with long COVID. Late last year, we published a paper in Nature showing that individuals with long COVID were much like, more likely than uh, healthy controls to have low levels of a hormone called cortisol in their body in the early morning periods. So cortisol is a hormone that wakes you up in the morning. So uh, people who are healthy will usually have a big cortisol spike in the morning. That's what wakes them up and brings them out of their sleep state. Individuals with long COVID had very low levels of cortisol. So it's not a matter of just hitting the body with cortisol. It's a matter of working with biologics and drugs that might be able to correct the cycle. So even things that have a good level of clinical evidence in the past for addressing this, such as ashwagandha, which is more on the natural medicine side of things, could have a role in helping people with long COVID to develop more healthy cortisol cycling. With all of this in mind, we're always wondering, okay, well, what is the root cause? What is causing the cortisol to be at a low level? And that's why we've been doing intensive research into co-infection and viral persistence, because we think that this ongoing uh, infectious process that is occurring in people with long COVID could be to blame for the hormone dysregulation that we're seeing.